Take off the fufu. Take off the cloud chase. Take off the wafa. Take off the money phone. Take off the car loan. Take off the flex and the white loss. Take off the weird ass jewelry. I'ma take to the steps that I'm taking off top off. Take off the fabricated streams and the microwave memes. It's a real world outside. Take off your idols. Take off the long way. Take off the kind of Take off the Sandro pay five days stay. Take a photo. That actually was a really, really good flight. We landed four times. The plane was a full. Beautiful scenery. I like flying at night. This is like my first time flying at night, and I think it's the way to go from here on out. So currently I'm in Orlando. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm gonna take a flight to Atlanta. Um and I'll see y'all there. So made it to Atlanta in one piece. Um I don't like flying in and out of Florida. And that's because Florida is its own country. Like nobody speaks English. <laughs> I just don't like it. Even though I'm from Miami, I don't like I don't like flying. My connecting flight to be in Florida, I don't. But I will see y'all in the morning. I'm tired. So like I was trying to shoot talk to you guys, but it's not even this dark in this room. I don't know why it's getting black out, but anyways, I am in Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta since you might as well go you might as well say Wednesday morning because I arrived at like 12 o'clock on Tuesday night, which technically is Wednesday morning. Um, I'm here not for like, okay. So I was supposed to pick, I picked up a car here and my cousin died. So I was supposed to be there with my other cousins just to stop by because the funeral is not till the 24th. But that didn't work out as planned. But uh, I don't know. Like, it just feel like I've been losing people left and right and I don't like how that feels like I don't know what God trying to tell my family but God we ain't got that many of us left like and this was like not she was not sick she was perfectly healthy like she just like died like just died it was so unexpected and it just makes you look at life a whole lot. I've been looking at life a whole lot differently because um my family has been taking L's back to back to back to back. And when I say L's, like people have been dying back to back to back. And it just seems like we can't go a two-year stretch. And I pray that that all turns around. But it put it just makes you realize that we are not here for forever. Whatever you need to do, whatever you got to do to make the life that you want possible, you need to get up and do it. And it also made me snap out of this, like... I don't want to say victim, but the mind state of, oh, poor me, this happened to me. No, like, no, like, she didn't wake up. Like, she woke up that morning, and she died that day. Like, my grandma should say, you might not make, you might not be t tomorrow not promised. Well, obviously, tonight isn't promised either, because you will wake up this morning and not, <laughs> not do it tonight. So, it just, like, really put emphasis on time. Like, what am I doing with my life? What are my goals? Like, because ever since I had my car accident, I really do feel like I'm on borrowed time. Like, whatever God, God got planned for me, I feel like it's big. And all the fear and worrying I have in my mind about, like, taking risks. Because it's hard to go from a a job that you're getting paid to do to being a entrepreneur like so being a realtor you're an entrepreneur you only you only get paid when you close a deal so you only eat what you kill so I think it's good though but yeah I've been dealing with that the whole week like since I've been having family members die back to back I feel like I've been, become numb to death a little bit and although I was really sad when I heard the news I couldn't cry I couldn't cry and they're like the other day I just had this epiphany. I was just up and I looked at her picture that me and her took one day. And I'm like, damn, she dead. Like, I have to keep telling myself that she's dead. She's not here. Because in my mind and in my heart, she's still on Columbia Drive. But that's not true. So, yeah, I just wanted to check in. I've been here for a whole week. I haven't vlogged. I'm sorry. But tomorrow we head back to South Carolina. I have, um, what do I have? 
I have an event at CC CCAR at 10 o'clock tomorrow. And then on the 15th, I don't even know what today is. It's, it's the day after the Super Bowl. So whatever day that is, that's what today is. On the 15th, I have like a networking at CCAR too. And I have like scheduled house appointments. So I have a busy week, a really, really busy week. So let's go. Sometimes you have to realize like, yo, this is it. It's happening now, you know? And and this this moment decides the longevity of this whole thing. So, you know, some, some mornings you gotta wake up and be like, yo, this is my thing, not anyone else's. No one can talk to Just me. left the CCAR. We had the realtors photo shoot for the CCAR. Um, Shayla was there. I didn't get any footage. I'm so sad, but just know that we had a really good time. And later on today, we are gonna go to the networking event at five o'clock. And it's at the Bowling Alley in um, Coastal Grandma. So, it's currently 11:24. I am back in South Carolina. I haven't been back on camera since I got back to South Carolina. Um, I'm gonna stop by Publix and get some pineapples, go home and change, and probably do like a um, couple of house tours, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have made it to. Well, the meet and greet was at, not the meet and greet, I'm sorry, but the CTAR photo shoot was in Market Commons. That's where the main building's at. I have changed my outfit. I'm back in Market Commons at this townhome. So we're going to go do a video and then we're going to head to the networking thing at five o'clock. This is a full day and I haven't been vlogging. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so this is the neighborhood. This is in Market, Market Commons. So these are really cute townhomes. So let's go and view it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ima Williams, an agent of the Floyd Agency based out of Conway, South Carolina. In this edition of In These Streets with Your Realtor, we are at the homes of the Market Cummins, built by Sand Company, and let's go check out the model. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we're falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. leaving the model home i went insert the video it went kind of well um the agent was really nice he said i was one of two people that he saw all day and they're about to close so we're gonna head over to the networking event and y'all the wind is really windy that didn't make sense it's really windy today okay it's really windy so hopefully the video was nice enough so i am out the car i sat in the car for like a 45 minute little nap because I was a little tired, but we are here at Coast Grand Mall. It strikes at the networking event that the CCAR is putting on. So let's head inside. I just fell in love. I just quit my job. I'm gonna find no drive. Damn, they work me so damn hard. Work by nine, then I'll pass five. And they work my nerves, that's why I cannot sleep at night. Today is February the 18th. I have an open house at, it starts at 12, but I'm gonna get there early. My face is breaking out. I have never been a one to break out. I always had great skin, but I think after today, I'm gonna stop wearing makeup and I'm gonna go to Walmart to get some therapy SV. At SA, I think SA. So the silk ass one to pick this up before this weekend. So um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go to this open house. And I got my business cards. I got everything I need. Let's go. So we are headed up to unit 1603 this is at the towers it's from 12 to 2 i'm very excited it's kind of a it is my first open house in south carolina um so let's get to the day started i'm cold i left my coat in the car because i didn't want to bring a lot of stuff but yeah here we are This is 
is it. This is it. This is the kitchen. We're gonna go. This is like the entry hallway. That's the door where you come in at. And the guest room. And keep in mind, you can redecorate. It comes with the furniture, but you can also redecorate. Let me show you the closet. It's a great rental property. Here's the hallway guest bathroom. Hi. And I thought I had like a, yeah, a linen closet with extra sheets. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just a utility closet. I'm not gonna. Look at me being nosy. Being nosy. Being nosy. This is the master bedroom. This is my favorite part. Um, I love the wall-to-wall -wall windows. I feel like you could open this one up. You see the screen in it? But you have ocean views. This will be really pretty at night. And keep in mind, you can remodel. Like, you can remodel the hell out of this. I would love to remodel it for you. Um, This is a big walk-in closet. Here's the bathroom. Now let's go look at the living room. And yeah, it's also a balcony in the living room. But I should have bought water. So this is the living room. And this is the balcony. I'm glad I'm trying to do this now. Um, y'all, it's a little weak. Like, do y'all hear the ocean? Can you imagine waking up to this? So, yeah, all the information about this condo will be listed down below. So, let me go ahead and get it started. February the 20, today is Tuesday. Today, Tuesday, Monday? Wednesday? I think it's February 21st. Um, ever since the open house, my face swelled up really bad. I got food poisoned. <laughs> um, so I haven't really been doing much. Um, I should have blocked my face being swelled up, but I'm not there yet. I'm not comfortable with showing that. My lip was like, it's still, my face is still kind of swollen, but it's not as bad as it was. So today's agenda, I have to go to DJ school. I'm going to stop by the office. And um, I need to see if I can find somebody to do my hair for my cousin's funeral on Saturday. So that's what we're doing today. And um, I'll be back once we get this moving. Um, today is Saturday. Um, I am in Georgia. A lot of things have happened since I last week. I'm in Georgia. I'm going to my cousin's family. And I'm about to walk in to talk to y'all later. You never know how God is going to do what he's going to do. But you should know that he's going to do something. And then a lot of people, you know, um, so often we want a miracle. We want a huge best, you know, but it's like, what people forget is that a miracle will only happen on a platform of a tragedy. All right, so hello, YouTube, everybody. Um, today is, today is Tuesday. I think it's February the 27th or 28th. I don't know. I put the right date on the screen. Um, my face is slow. I woke up with a slow face and I have to have, I have like three showings today, so Hmm. I think the last time I spoke with y'all was when I was in Atlanta and I went to my cousin's funeral. Um, I really didn't vlog much because I wasn't in the mood to vlog. Um, I was just really, I don't know. I just feel like it was such a surprise. She died so young. Her name was Nisha. She was 30 years old. Like That was so unexpected that I wasn't um, I wasn't prepared for that. I don't think I would ever be prepared for death. Like, if one mile turn right onto Mason. Excuse Susan. But um yeah. Like so for the past three years I had so many family members pass away that like I feel like I've become numb to death and like I really just I just really have to talk to God about this. Like 
because why are we done? Why, why, why my, why my family died? So I've been trying not to be sad. Nobody likes a sad realtor. Um, so they tell you that in realtor school, like don't be posting sad stuff. So <laughs> I'm finna um head on to Murder Beach. That's where I'm meeting the client and Shayla at. And then we're gonna head to North Murder Beach to do some showings. I downloaded, oh, by the way, um, if you are a realtor and you're looking at this video and you're trying to figure out a way to make extra money until you get your closing, just show, show on me. I think it's the name of that, show on me. I'ma leave my um, referral code down below in the description box, but you could download show on me. You have to have a super keto at um, showing time. I don't know if that applies in your state, applicable in your state, but if it is applicable, that's what you have to have. And you put your real estate license in there and you show other people's properties because they can't make it and they pay you for it. Um, I, I really like doing that too. Um, it, this is not a way to get clients. We'll like they tell you that. Then turn right onto Main Street. She's been really rude. But yeah, I am starting to ramble and I'm trying to drive. So I will see y'all at the first showing made it to Caraville, the first um, condo we're gonna be showing. I'm just waiting for Shayla to get here. My face is still swollen. I took a Benadryl. I hit myself with an epinephrine pen and I took an allergy pill. And after I show all these houses, guess what? I'm taking my ass to the hospital because I ain't done. So um, yeah, um, I'm waiting for the guy and Shayla to show up. I'm finna get out and just show y'all the building. I'm not gonna film when he get here because that's just weird. That's just weird. But if I get a chance to shoot something, I will and insert it. She parked at the wrong one. It's this building over here. But they're both still Caravelle, so let's go. Two. Me and Shayla are at um, Camden, about to show property. He <laughs> said he ain't gonna like it. It's not bad though. It's this. How much is this one? I saw two in the Caravelle building. Now we're going to this pink building and seeing them. Um, I think the first one I kind of filmed because we got there before the client. So that one was like 189000 Three. So my face is going down. The clients are still up there. They they went to knife with somebody else to see how it would look higher up. But we really love this building. Um, it's giving Art Deco Miami Beach vibes. Um, yeah, but my hair just gave up. I flat earned it. And the humidity from the beach is just, my hair ain't even fighting back at this point. So it's going back curly later on. All right, so we are on our way. Oh, yeah. Honestly, this doesn't even feel like work. I could do this all day. I could show houses and property all day long because I love it. It's just really fun. It's just really fun and the clients are really good. So when you have good clients, it always makes the showing process a lot fun, funner. So yeah, this is really going good. We are at the third, or this is the fourth showing, the fourth one. This is the Grand Cayman. And uh, I'm just gonna back in because, and let me get you. All right, so we just saw the building that I just showed you guys. Um, I didn't take a video of the inside because basically, the building is really nice. The what well, they had to decorate it was nice, but it was like a brick wall blocking the view of the ocean, so that was a no-go. So we are now headed to North Myrtle Beach to another property. So yeah. So do you like it? Wow, that's really pretty. We are at the Beach Cove right now, and the asking price for this one is one ninety two. It's really cute. I'll probably use the space in the view. Just seen this one and it was a no immediately a no hell no all right so i did all the showings all three of them i just told y'all that so i'm currently in north murder beach and i am at publix because i'm hungry and i i'm fasting right now i'm doing a day fast so i have to get fruits and vegetables to smack on really quick 
and I had to really, really use the bathroom because I've been holding it like four houses ago.